<laughs> oh, what a joke. So, yeah, so, well, a fight took place in the end. The fight they plan on having in the first place took place. Um, Trevor Brighton fought Bermain Stavern, who was coming off a loss. Both men looked in disgusting shape, and yeah, it was a decent fight, I guess, in the end. And yeah, man, Mark Muchar got kicked to the curb, and Trevor Bryan picks up Mark Muchar's, um, what's it called, his regular belt. He becomes a full champion now, a quote unquote full champion now. Joshua is the main champion, and I guess Trevor Bryan's belt is gonna be vacant, the interim belt. Um, Matt Muchar has been made champion in recess, which uh, just doesn't make any sense. I don't, I don't even understand what they're doing with all these belts. The WBA is just on some. I don't even understand what they're up to. I'm hearing, side note, hearing they also stripped Manny Pacquiao of his WBA belt and gave the belt to Ugas, which, anyways, some more of these guys are up to. Anyways, back to the fight. So it was a decent scrap in the end. It was well, not scrap. It was a decent fight in the end. Trevor Bryan controlled the whole fight with basically his jab. With his jab, that, that, you know what? Before I get to the fight, the event, the event looked weird. The um, commentary team, I wasn't feeling. I don't. I still don't know who they were. Well, the fight was decent in the end. I'm not gonna lie, it was it was an okay fight, I guess. It was okay. Um the fight started, Brian was just controlling it with his jab. <clears throat> Sorry about that, jab into his bum to Stavern's body, just controlling with the jab, stalking him, um, throwing the occasional right hand and left hook, working his body real good. And Stavern was returning shots too. Is returning shots as well, but I'll probably give that round to Brian. Round two started similar round, um, but this round started with um, Stevern catching Brian a lot more. He was throwing overhand rights, left hooks, jabs to the body, um, combinations. So he was he was catching Brian a lot in the second round, but it was pretty much similar to the first fight. And yeah, I don't think Brian can afford to take them kind of shots against, you know, the elite. <laughs> yeah, he'll get knocked out. And yeah, round three, similar, similar thing. And just jab into his body, jab into his head, double jab, you know, just similar thing to round one and two. Um, round By round four, I've, I noticed Steven was running out of gas as well. He was getting tired by round four. Mind you, Steven's 43. He's the older man in there. And Brian's about what his late twenties, early thirty. I think Brian's thirty actually. And uh, yeah, it's, it's really pretty much same story. Just Brian controlling the fight with his jab. Round five, Brian backing him up with his jab. Steven still trying to time him, trying to throw the the occasional over overhand right, and you know, still jabbing to his body as well. Still trying to. Uh, Every time, every time Stevern catches Brian, Brian returns shot. He fires back immediately. He doesn't let any shot go unanswered. He fires back immediately. The whole fight was just the story of the fight was Trevor Brian's jab. That's basically the whole. That was the star of the show. His jab was the star of the show. Things start getting interesting about the uh, around say round nine. Um, there was a nice little exchange at the end of the round and both guys got caught but Brian rocks Stevon with a nice little left hook. Stevon was visibly rocked. The 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 round 10 side is so weird. Um it was so bizarre. Stevon walked towards Brian, right? Brian was just stood there. Stevon walked towards him, he didn't do anything, then he just backed off. Literally for about 20 seconds, neither man threw a shot. Sivan just walked towards him and then walked backwards. It was kind of weird. 20 seconds, no no punches exchanged. Then, yeah, Brian just continued business as usual, you know, with the jab, 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 just continued. Sivan was still, he's still, he's been a competitive fight, don't get it twisted. Brian's been winning most of the rounds, but he's been competitive. Sivan is just there, throwing shots, trying to 
catch him catching him and you know just trying to time him and it's timing him it's catching him in, with the occasional shots but like i said each time steven catches brian brian makes sure he makes sure he returns the shot he fires back immediately so yeah and then round 11 starts <laughs> at the start of the round um brian starts very aggressive he, he threw he threw a single jab, then he threw a double jab, then he threw a triple jab. He was very aggressive at the start of the round. And then um, Steven backs up towards the ropes. And then um, Brown followed him towards the ropes. And then he hurt him with a, a nice little straight right. Steven was hurt. Brian showed horrible killer insects for me. He couldn't. He really couldn't. He was struggling to get him out of there. And then um, Steven was gone. You could tell he was exhausted. Like I said, he was exhausted from like the fourth round. Steven was visibly gone, but Brian could not get him out of there. It was landing a couple uppercuts, but it, they weren't enough. Yeah, there's, there's a clear lack of power there, but you know, the guy was visibly hurt. He still couldn't get him out of there. He was trying to put, put his shots together. Eventually, he landed something on, I think it was um, Steven's arm. The shots, I don't, I don't think the shot landed clean. He hit him on the arm and Steven said, you know what i'm going down he went down and he went he came back up the ref the ref thought it was okay and then he waved them um, the fight back on brian jumped back on him and then yeah the, the ref jumped back in the fight was over the ref stopped it brian becomes the quote-unquote full champ i don't think this whole thing's over though there's still gonna be a hope this this whole saga is still gonna continue. There's gonna be a lot more surprises to pop up. Charles not gone. Fresno Kendra's not gone. There's still gonna be a lot more to come regarding this. And yeah, stars and eh, star. Charles still the champion in recess. So I guess um, we still <laughs> we still um, should be expecting to see. Trevor Bryan versus Manuel Cho in the future. So yeah, watch this space. So yeah, as always, leave your comments in the comment section below. What you make of this whole kerfuffle? And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm out.